Hey, it's Pete. If you read one of these every day, I'm sure you have really big dreams. I'm also sure if you've read this, you have really big dreams. Today, we're going to walk you through what is a private meeting that I did with my community this morning on how to have an absolutely massive 12 months going forward. Below this video, I have the four questions that we talk about in our coaching call. I hope this video is life-changing for you. If you have any questions for me, please leave a comment below. I promise you this video will be worth your time. I, I'm very open about this. The biggest mistake I made my first 12 months of trading is I didn't pay attention. And I'm not talking necessarily about my my profit and loss. I'm more talking about I didn't pay attention to what worked, what didn't work. And I didn't stop doing what wasn't working with enough speed. And I didn't do more of what was working with enough speed. Trading, if anybody knows, I'm sure everybody's heard of it, but if you've heard of the scientific method, it's essentially this big feedback loop where you start, get feedback, adjust, start, feedback, adjust. And it's, it's one giant loop of learning. Um, and that's pretty much how anybody who's massively successful does things. You're never afraid to take action, but it's critical that you pay attention to the action that you've taken and whether or not it's getting you the outcome you want. And you just continue to move closer and closer and closer. Jeff Bezos is actually very, um, very, very popular for the flywheel effect that he built where all of the pieces just continue to roll and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger based on feedback. So I, I can't even tell you how excited I am to not only host this coaching call tonight, but to, um, but to give everybody the multiple sources of media to take with you forever, because having this kind of conversation that we're going to have tonight is not at all something you're going to be able to digest in one meeting. Uh, it, it's really something you're going to want to watch. It's going to something you're going to listen to. So we'll give you the audio. You'll download the video, download the audio. So uh, and download the transcript. It's probably going to be a long one. Uh, I mean, the, the recent two coaching calls that we had last week were two hours and 15 minutes each. Um, I think tonight's going to be probably close to that. Maybe even I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it unfolds. Um, but I promise uh, this will this is probably the best gift that you can give yourself this year by participating in this, providing details, you know, as much detail as possible. You see, I actually wrote in here, give detail, open the wound, feel the pain and pour the salt. Um, if you don't have, if you don't have a perceived problem, if you don't have a perceived obstacle or a roadblock, um, it's going to be very hard to make change. So you really need to get visceral on the outcome of whether or not your account's actually growing and dig deep. Um, really think about what you know you shouldn't be doing, but you're doing anyway. And let's make it a promise to each other that we're going to start eliminating that immediately. The other stuff in here that's pretty important as well, obviously, once we start to eliminate this, it becomes a lot easier to structure what what ultimately becomes how you act and think every day and it's kind of funny because the biggest the biggest uh negative feedback that we get is what we do is not complicated enough and i have to laugh at that because obviously those traders have never been on a trading floor ever in their career because 100 percent of the people that I have traded with, 100% of the people that are seven figure traders, um, they trust me when I tell you this, they do not have dozens and dozens of indicators on their charts. You know, they literally have this. They have multiple time frames depending on what, you know, how much, you know, are they scalping, are they day trading, are they day trading, position trading, or swing trading. Most professional traders that I have only have this, most of them. Um, some have a little bit more, maybe sometimes you'll throw in stochastics or, you know, one of those kind of things. Um, but that's usually the biggest knock. But honestly, if you really think about it, why in God's name would you want your trading to be complicated? 
it, it almost it almost just doesn't even make sense intuitively or logically. You want it to be something that works and something that is repeatable. So ultimately what we're going to come out of after we have a discussion about what absolutely doesn't work, we'll get to the point what absolutely does work and you do more of that. I think what's going to be revelatory for some people, especially newer members on tonight's call, is there are some roadblocks that you probably don't even know about yet or some mistakes that you maybe haven't made yet because maybe you're not trading actively yet. And I think that's going to be fun for you to learn those um, learn those things as well, because, you know, in, in business, there's always like, OK, what's the next problem? And then once they conquer that problem, what's the next problem after that? So, for example, learning how to not lose money. And then the next problem is learning how and when to size up. So there's always a next thing, right? Uh, if everything works out perfectly, again, this is probably not going to be the most uh, long answer compared to the other two. But, um, you know, if I, if I was to give an answer for this right now, it's understanding that my game planning goes at 7 o'clock every night, no later. Review that list and all the opening news, 7 a.m. in the morning. Script out my entire day, script out my entire week, and then I'll know exactly what I plan to do. Um, before the market in the week even opens. Everything works out perfectly. I will understand when to get bigger. If everything works out perfectly, I will understand and actually get bigger. Um, I will eliminate the fear of giving back profits in exchange for much bigger profits. Um, and I promise that uh, I will give myself some time uh, to uh, enjoy the fruits of those uh, rewards that I plan to make next year. I think that's also something very important, you know, because this is where we touched on um, how does this personally affect your life? This, you know, this is this is the part where we talk about imagine if um, I mentioned it yesterday. I mentioned it a lot recently because this is what I do in a big way for myself personally during December, um, where I, I, you know, whether you call it vision boarding, future pacing, visualizing, whatever, you know, whatever fancy name you want to give to it. Um, if you can't imagine it, how's it going to actually happen? I, I mean, I, you know, that sounds overly simplistic, but it's absolutely the truth. If you can't even imagine it happening, uh, the odds of it actually happening are pretty, pretty remote. But the opposite of that is, you know, and he goes back to Napoleon Hill and, you know, I'm a big Napoleon Hill fan. So everything that I, you know, I, I do pretty much comes back to what he taught. And it, it's, it's about visualizing and adding positive emotions to that visualization. Some people call it praying, uh, whether you believe praying works or not, you know, that's everybody's personal preference. But um, I will tell you from my personal experience that when you visualize deeply in vivid detail with the positive emotions that you want to experience, of that visualization, I will tell you some magical things will start to unfold in your life. And then when you combine scientific method with know where you want to go, take action, pay attention, take action. <laughs> you know, you just keep going through that, that scientific method where it's just one giant learning loop and you continue to visualize how, how your life is going to be different as you take those steps you will be amazed at what's possible. And I stand here before you um, as proof of that, because look, I, I don't have any contacts. I didn't, you know, I didn't have anything. I just decided where I wanted to go one day in 2000. And, um, you know, a couple of months prior to becoming a full-time trader, I, you know, I was working at my family's deli on Long Island. Um, I just made a decision and that was it. I, it wasn't, it wasn't, well, I didn't focus on any of the roadblocks. I just said, that's where I'm going. And I'm just going to keep going in that direction until, you know, I get to that where I want to be. And then I, it just, you know, it snowballs when you believe anything is possible. And um, that's what I want you to think about here. I want you to think in the, in, in not Pollyanna terms, not like, oh my gosh, nothing will ever go wrong. That's not what this is about. This is about visualizing the actions you're going to take, how your life is going to be, how the, how the, how the rewarding trading life is going to be with you. What does that mean for you in your spare time? What does that mean for your family? What does that mean um, you can enjoy now that maybe you can't enjoy today? How is that going to make you feel personally from a stress level? I saw a couple of people typed in you know, reducing my stress. Um, 
I've gone through everything that you're going through now. And um, I hope that shows, and, and, you know, and everything that we do together, because um, this is the most amazing opportunity that we have. And I think it's most a, a big part of that is because we have some really amazing people in our community. I think we've attracted the right people to the community. I, we definitely sometimes have some people that are lazy and just want, you know, they, you know, give me the easy button. Um, that's, that's not what we do. You know, it's an easy process, but you still have to get involved and do something <laughs> while you're in, you know, you have to take action. You can't be afraid to take action. You have to move confidently towards your dreams, which if I'm not mistaken, that's actually a, Thore a Henry David Thoreau quote, something along those lines. Um, but this, this is, this is where the magic happens. Um, the more consistently you do this, especially these first step one, two, and four, especially those steps um, on a, I'm not saying necessarily a trade by trade basis, but more reliably do it. Um, I promise you, you will see things change in your life um, that you, you just can't even imagine just because you believe it can happen. And I'm, I'm not talking about a vision board. I'm, I'm talking about you take, you take a step and you see what happens and then you adjust. You take another step and you see what happens and you adjust. And you get knocked down and you get back up and you and you start to have this unshakable feeling that you can accomplish anything. Um, because, quite frankly, you refuse to quit. And if, if I can give everybody in our community uh, a, a part of me, that is the biggest part of me that I would love to give to everybody, which is quitting is a choice. Everybody has adversity. Everybody. I don't want to hear crap about, well, I'm too busy and I had to drop my kid off at school and you don't understand. I, you know, everybody has those problems. Everybody has those things going on in their life. You're not unique. I got news for you. You're not unique. Everybody has problems. And, you know, again, I'll tell you, you know, when we all get together uh, eventually in person, uh, you know, look, I mean, there were periods in my life where, you know, I was having dinner at 7-Eleven. And, you know, I have had stuff that have worked out uh, in an amazing way. And I've had moments in my life where I literally was having dinner at 7-Eleven. And during those times when things weren't work out and I took some bigger chances than I probably should have at those points in my life, um, it was when I looked up in the sky and I said, is that, real, is that the best you have? Is that all you can do to try and knock me down? that's not going to work. And like I was yelling at this, you know, whether you want to call it God, infinite intelligence, whatever the heck you want to call it. But I was really cementing the belief in myself that there was no obstacle that I can get through. I just remember in my mind, I'm on the wrong train. I need to get off. It was never feeling sorry for myself, never making excuses. Um, and that eventually led to where we all are today as a community and, and as a trading family. And, and, and I think friends, quite honestly, as well. So I'm spending time on this first because we don't have any questions for today's game plan, but I think that's okay because I hope I'm, I'm emphasizing how important tonight's call is and how important the process of what it takes to be successful is. Because when you, when you seek the impossible and take steps towards that, acknowledging that that road is going to have some potholes but then just choose to go through those potholes. Um, that's, that's, that's where everything changes with you because now you never see roadblocks. You just see the direction you want to go and you understand that sometimes that stuff is going to happen. Um, if, if, if you can attend live, awesome. If you can't attend live tonight, um, Please put a please answer the questions anyway, because I will answer you specifically. And tonight's call will be as long as um, as long as it needs to be. You know, I never dial it in, um, but I'm, I'm telling you this as a friend, because we have people in our community on both sides of the spectrum right now. People that are sharing and exchanging ideas in discord at midnight. And then we have other people that are emailing me almost every other day instead of participating, have watched zero of the education, 
have not participated in the game plan, have not participated in a coaching call, have not participated in Discord, but then want to email me as if I'm going to personally mentor them one-on-one through email or through the forum. I'm sorry. I'm not lazy, and I'm not going to work hard for you because you're lazy. I the, the program is built in a certain way that it's exactly what I did when I had my trading firm, and I had gave people my money to trade. But what I used to say on my trading floor, and I mentioned this, I believe, to Kendall yesterday, um, I can't give you that spark. That spark has to come from inside of you. But I will tell you this. If you show me that you have that spark, I will turn it into a flaming inferno for you because of our association together here. But I am not going to motivate you to get started. You have to make the decision to start. You have to make the decision to participate. You have to make the decision to ask questions. I can't give you that desire to want to improve. I can't give you that desire. That has to come from deep inside of you. But I promise you, the longer we are together, the more you will, the more you will see the impossible is possible. And I am living proof of that. That story I just told you about ha- sometimes having dinner at the 7-Eleven because I didn't have any money, that is fact. That is a true story. And it didn't bother me. It actually, it didn't bother me. It was like, all right, this is annoying. I, I effed up and made a couple of bad decisions. Um, and now I'm just going to start from where I am now and continue to move forward. Um, that's what I want to give to everybody. The X's, the O's, the strategies, the tactics, the candlesticks, the moving averages, the, the meetings and all that kind of stuff. Those are all vehicles to get you to the point where you believe anything is possible, but you have to take action and then pay attention to that action and what results you're getting from that action. This is the process that has yielded me massive success and something that is going through my mind every minute of every day that I'm awake. What action did I take that didn't work? What action did I take that did work? What can I do to make it better? How is that going to look when it, when it works out? Touching on the other side of that a little bit, which I think is necessary, which is people say, pray, I'm not religious. I just want to make this clear. I'm not religious. I would say I'm much more spiritual. Um, But I do believe that I could manifest impossible things because I have. I had a trading office in New York City on 34th Street in Manhattan, 34th Street and 7th Avenue. I had 300 people trading my money. I had no right to be doing any of that. I just decided that's what I wanted to do. I had no right. I had no contacts, no millionaire uncles, none of that crap. I didn't know anybody. In New York City, where three years prior to that, I was slicing bologna. That's not an exaggeration. I saw where I wanted to go, and I want you to start believing that anything is possible if you take the first step and see what happens, and then pay attention to what happens. And then you take the next step and pay attention to what happens. The opposite of that is where you only start, where you only see roadblocks. You only see what you can't do. You only see what's in your way. And you know what you're going to get? You're reverse praying. You're reverse visualizing. You're going to get what you're focusing on. And all you're going to see is obstacles. All you're going to see is what doesn't work. All you're going to see is why you can't get there. You're doing the same exact thing, but you have the map upside down. So I'm saying this very intentionally because we have between now and the end of the year, and obviously as much time as it takes everybody, but when you pay attention and you believe anything is within your reach, Maybe not the time frame that you'd like to have happen. Let's be clear on that. It might not be the time frame of I want to be a millionaire and I want it to happen by Sunday. Let's be realistic. You know, I'm not going to be a catcher for the Mets anymore. I'm 56 and I had two eye surgeries. <laughs> I'm not going to be catcher for the Mets anymore, even though that was my lifelong dream. But there are things that 
uh, you know, are possible that, uh, you know, most people might be like, that's crazy. And I'd be like, no, I decided that was where I wanted to go. And that's what my year end gratitude is for everybody in this community. I want you to understand that where you, your highest aspiration of where you think you can go is possible if you follow these steps. If you follow these steps, don't put a time frame on it where I want to be a millionaire. You have to be realistic about the resources, your experience and knowledge and skill level at this moment. But then a month from now, you'll be in a different place. Two months from now, you'll be in a different place. And then when we're having the same conversation a year from now, I'm telling you, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, wow, where I was in December of 2021 and where I am in December of 2022, it's amazing what you can do when you pay attention, refuse to quit, and then take different steps based on what worked, what didn't work, and then how that has personally changed your life. Look, I don't know what anybody anybody's bills are or dreams are or anything like that, but whether it's an extra $3,000 a month or an extra $30,000 a month, you have to decide – what needs to happen for make, to make that happen. And I don't care if you're trading with a $3,000 account. It honestly doesn't matter. Try and turn 3,000 into 4,000. Don't try and turn 3,000 into 3 million. Try to turn it into 4,000. Then try and turn 4,000 into 7,500. And keep taking, keep being aware of the process of what it takes to get there. You learn to mitigate the downside. Like I just told you the story of a colossal mistake I made way back in the day, and it cost me everything. Learn to mitigate the downside with your experience and then learn to do more of what absolutely works. You will find at the highest levels of success, and I'm telling you this, I'm telling you this because I've gone through the process. I'm still doing it every day. You want to get rid of the clutter and make your process simplified. You do not want to make it too complicated because then there's too much garbage in there. What are, what are the priorities that get you to where you want to be? And get rid of all the other junk. Get rid of all the stuff that's noise. Start to do more of what works. I'm telling you, all of the seven-figure traders that I know including myself, who've earned seven figures in the trading industry. It's not more complicated than that. It's not. There's other stuff, obviously, position sizing, catalyst, news, upgrade, downgrades, earnings. There's other stuff you could throw into the equation. But what matters more than price and volume? Nothing. I'm telling you, I've been on trading floors. I've owned a trading floor. It doesn't need to be complicated. It doesn't matter if you're looking at a one-minute chart or if you decide to use some uh, RSI or MACD or stochastics, get to the core of what matters and then scale what matters.